nice suit. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Know where I could mug a bobby? <laughs> You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die, then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. You get them back for me. I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? Me medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No, I will need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have installed most of those two? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. They look pretty well buttoned up. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood. Or find a cleverer way in.
Sally would have loved this if I could never get in here. I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. Uh, lovely day, Fred. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight in the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive? I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I can write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. Or we'll leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. That was bloody incredible! What it? <laughs> this is the best circus we've had in weeks. Our newest gladiator comes direct to you from City Hall, according to his wallet. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome warmly Arthur, King of the Parade! Let's see if he can keep blood off that lovely suit, especially his. <laughs> Original! Danny Defoe! You, you've lost a bit of weight. To be fair, you did copy my piece line by line. Who gives a shit, Hastings? A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now, lads, choose your weapons. What? It's quite legal. The other. We'll just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? And Danny's picked the lethal one. That's cheery. Hey, little guy. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's got to come on strong with that lead pipe. You've got to want to block that. Oh, 
shall we, eh? How about we let the birds have a chance? If you lost your bet on Defoe, now's your chance to have a double or quits. Oh, a bright of me. Take it right. I've got a sinking feeling. Oh God, this on. Oh God. Some sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. I need a jimmy bar. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motiline dispenser. That chap at the bridge said I'd need a power cell and his war medals. Please don't make a fuss. <sighs> oh. Oh. Your move, Sam, man. Oh. 
Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit down. Just lie down. Sorry to bother. Motoline, pure resublimated dimotoline. The fuel of the future now. Go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals, and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. I think that's everything I had when they jumped me.
If I crouch, I bet I could disappear into those bushes. Nothing Thank you. 
I thought the Garden District was a wilderness of lawless lunatics. Apparently it's just got its own rules. I'd better figure out what the other ones are. It occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Uh, hello? Anyone out there? Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here. Over here. Do you want to get thrashed? Come in. Come in. God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return, you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous. Your funeral. Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy, and it like flips a switch, and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits? Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! This too shall pass, I suppose. It's hard when you can't trust your own memory, isn't it? suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. After dark, love. Best stay out of sight. Been a while, hasn't it? The Bobbies have a first on them, you know. I got your medals. Thank you. You don't know what these mean to me. To know that some of us fought. To know that I fought. You're probably too young to remember. We used to tie in those days. In 42, we threw them back into the sea. Then they came back in 43. It weren't the same. I hate to be a bother, but the card to get across the bridge? Right. Oh, of course, yeah, sorry. Forgive an old man his memories. Well, good luck. I've got this key card, and I can power up the gate with the power cell. I guess I'm ready to cross the bridge. Oh, 
I lied for you today at 4.15. Shh. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good liar today. Shh. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red. And, and her voice was like Mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in the tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15pm. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you. Arthur. I love you too. A safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. Now I lay me down to sleep. Toys and tiny beds. Tiny beds in every house. <laughs> 